what's going on guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS bringing you a brand new video and I do have some awesome attacks uh, to show you guys from a random matchup that we had against uh, right here Warzone 68. For those of you that have not heard of this clan, they are in the ICL in the Elite class. They're a clan based out of France. Great sportsmanship. They even wished us luck at the end of the war uh, against Marshall's Nation, who were matching in week two in CWL Invite. So I thought that was really, really cool of them. Uh, full disclosure, we did have one extra 11 and one extra Town Hall 10 on the map. So the advantage was in Forge from Steel's favor. And regardless, picking up the victory 114 to 112, that was the final. And they did beat us on total destruction. I mean, you want to talk about a, a an incredible clan. Look out, guys, for Warzone 68. Uh, right here, they 11v11 tripled uh, Captain Crunch, and they 11v11 tripled Shy Guy. And they had, I believe, I could be wrong in the numbers, they had four or five 10v10s as well. So pretty heavy breakdown. Uh, we also had four 10v10s, so I'll be showing you guys those attacks as well. And I'll... and. We've been seeing a lot of struggles 10v11. So I'm also going to show you guys a couple uh, 10v11 attacks that are just smashing bases right now. Uh, but what I do want to start with is right here, number 24. Again, I'm going to do my best to show a Town Hall 9 attack or two uh, each recap. You know, we still want to give our Town Hall 11s as much love as we can. It's still a very crucial Town Hall and seeing the stats that came out of the leagues. Uh, it's definitely not a gimme. I don't know if people just aren't planning as much, if people don't care as much uh, about Town Hall 9, but as far as hit rates go, they're just barely over, just barely over 50%. We'll see what happens in week two, and we are still in prep uh, for our war against Marshall's Nation. Uh, by the time this video comes out, by the time you're watching this, the war would already start, but at this point in time, we are still in prep against MN, so definitely want to wish them the best of luck. Both of our clans do have history, uh, both of us coming, basically being promoted up from Premier up to Invite. You know, we were both in Premier in Season 2, uh, so definitely want to give a shout out to Marshall's Nation. Definitely want to wish you guys the best of luck in this war, and we have made, you know, some friendly relationships with a couple of the guys over there. Uh, you know, just some banter and, you know, just, just messing around and stuff like that. So, uh, it's definitely going to be an incredible war, so look out uh, for that recap. I also want to take this time to thank all the new subscribers uh, for the support you guys are giving to the channel. And for those of you new to the channel, I definitely want to welcome you guys. I mean, just in the last couple of days, we've picked up, I think, like 300 subscribers in just a couple of days. It's it's really crazy what, you know, what, what, what the hell's going on. Uh, but I definitely thank all of you guys for your support uh, for the channel. And a uh, big shout out to Jar Jar, a.k.a. JFM, uh, hitting on his Town Hall 9. He did fresh six-pack this war. I uh, definitely want to give a big shout out to him. And he has been doing nothing but great things. Very active on voice as well. Uh, planning 10, you know, uh, 10 v 10 attacks and things like that. Planning with the nines. Very, very active member. But I definitely want to show you guys uh, that attack right there. Okay. I do have a few 10 v 10s to show you. Uh, where are we going to start here? We're going to start with number 21. And I guess the theme of this is air. Our, our 10 v 10s uh, coming with air. I haven't actually seen a hog 10 v 10 in, I don't know, a week a week or so. Um, may, maybe even a little bit more. I haven't seen it much, as much with hogs. And so we have a couple Lolos. We got another dragon attack to show you guys. As well as, like I said in the start of the video, a pair of 10 v 11s. Which to me, it's almost to the point where 10 v 11 has gotten so difficult, it's almost just as glorious as a 10 v 10 triple. I mean, the hit rate, the 10 v 10 hit rate and the 10 v 11 hit rate are, are almost the same. 
It's really, really crazy. Uh, what you guys are watching on the screen right now, we got Fabi doing just a beautiful uh, Sui Hero Lalo on this weird AD layout. Uh, I haven't seen AD layouts. Uh, they did, you know, similar to this. They did have a, a pair of 10V or a, a pair of Town Hall 10s that had uh, these 80, these really funky 80 layouts like this. I had no idea how to hit a base like this. We tried it with miners. Um, Almost got it, but just not quite. Uh, just fell flat towards the end. Fabi went ahead and picked this base apart with Lalo, as you guys see. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe he even is going to be swagging a spell on this one. Look at all those loons left. Nothing but a cannon at the end of the raid. And it does have pups and minions all over. And that's another thing is these giants. Uh, I'll get into that. Uh, there you go, haste on the clan castle. Beautiful, beautiful attack uh, from Fabi. Uh, coming from Dark Blue, there's nothing but great things coming from Fabi on his Town Hall 9 and on his Town Hall 10. Uh, couldn't be more excited uh, to have Fabi in this clan. And you know, we definitely welcomed him. I want to welcome him again. He's been here a couple weeks now and just been smashing bases. Uh, I mean, he's becoming a household name especially on, I mean on this channel as far as uh you know making it on the videos and the recaps uh, for his performances okay so we saw that so we hero lalo from fabi uh this one is going to be from tadpole going to be smashing this base guys with dragons uh tadpole has had a lot of uh success with dragons lately uh like many of us have and for good reason i mean they are in the meta at town hall 10 uh, you know, whether you have corner ADs, offset ADs, uh, dragons are just smashing bases. If you execute it right and you have the right plan, uh, definitely dragons are doing big, big things right now at Town Hall 10. Uh, he's doing this one. He's doing a queen charge. Going to get really, really, really good value uh, from this queen charge again with the ADs being offset. Uh, king taking out that trash. Uh, wall broke just below nine o'clock um does have that loon right there it's going to pick up a seeking air mine uh that's what that loon is for there it goes rather have a loon hit a sam than one of your healers so he already has two air defenses down charge is still going strong still has three rages and a freeze left to deploy uh pops king ability taking out trash and that's pretty much is just moving the queen along. So in, instead of her shooting the trash outside of the base, she her focus is on the defenses inside of the base. So got really, really good value. King is just still going. Still going strong. Wiped out that whole side right there. All four air defenses down at this time, guys. All four of them. And here comes the drags. Uh, has this one kind of on the side. Just a funnel, just a funnel trash. Uh, he does have a dragon in the CC. Also has a couple. Uh, a pair of those max level 7 loons coupled with that max dragon coming out of the CC. Has a nice rage pushing everything in. Nice freeze over the Inferno Tower. Also picked up the enemy queen on that freeze. So you guys want to talk about value. Uh, goes ahead and drops down his second rage on the dragons. A few puffs. Both Inferno Towers are down at this point. Queen charge has ended. But she did more than what she had to. Took out the bottom half of that base uh, to include all four air defenses, guys. And just look at all the dragons left. Uh, fourth and final rage is down. And just an archer tower uh, does have a Tesla left. So just completely wrecked that base, guys. Um, you know, cannot be disputed. An amazing attack uh, from Tadpole right there. And he again, nothing but good things coming from Tad. Big shout out to him. Uh, doing really good with dragons. Give them a try, guys, in your FCs, whatever you have to do. Uh, and you know, we're having nothing but success for them. Okay, so right here, what was the other base? No, that was a dip. This one, I'm gonna show you guys the other one. We have Masaki getting another 10v10 six pack we're gonna watch uh this hit right here on number 13 it's also the heavier base as well so just you want, want to show that and believe it or not this base right here was 11v10 uh dip fail it was our only dip fail of the war 
we have Masaki coming in and clean, cleaning it up, cleaning up a uh, Town Hall 11 dip fill, guys. Doing it with a Queen Charge Lalo. Uh, definitely been favoring this attack. Uh, he's also brand new to the clan. He's been here, I want to say this might be his third, maybe his fourth war uh, since he joined. And been seeing nothing but nothing but good things from him. Nice rage right there. Uh, rage those wall breakers. And he's going to be popping this next layer as well. Still has the queen ability. Uh, that queen is still under rage. Talk about patience. Uh, goes ahead and pops the ability uh, to get that uh, inferno tower down. Right over there at 3 o'clock. Goes ahead and drops down another rage. Also had another pair of wall breakers just to keep this queen, uh, this queen charge alive. Poison on the CC and the enemy king goes ahead and drops down his third rage. Um... Just getting amazing value from this queen charge. Uh, the good thing about this base, as heavy as it was, it seemed like they were going to be defending uh, a Town Hall 11 dip. Uh, just based off of the CC, a Hound or a Golem could have changed uh, this raid a little bit. Uh, but with that squishy CC coming out with the Witches and the Baby Drags, uh, the Queen, this level 40 Queen... Uh, just blows right through that enemy CC. No questions whatsoever. As something like a hound, queen gets queen gets tied up for quite some time. Uh, already charged two defenses. Whole bottom half of the base is gone. Now starting with the Lalo. Nice pathing uh, for the loons. Uh, coming at 9 o'clock. You'll see he has those haste down. Nice clumped up loons right there. Drops down the third haste. Just rages and haste is what he's bringing. Uh, the rages for the queen. Haste for the Lalo. There goes another haste. And these loons are just constantly flying through this base. And he does have his haste fully maxed out at level 4. So those loons just blow through this base. Uh, last air targeting defense excuse me, that he has is that Tesla. Has all kinds of minions. All kinds of pups on this base. Made it look ever so easy. Masaki, guys. Look out for this guy. Completely wrecking bases. Uh, big shout out to him. Um, and also, I want to welcome him to the clan. Okay, now, we've seen a few 10v10s. Uh, like I said, we did have four. Masaki uh, had the triple. I believe it was on base number 18. But we don't want this video to get too long. Uh, so I want to show you guys the hit that he did on number 13. Let's go ahead and show you guys the elusive. What has become the elusive 10 v 11 double? Uh, I do have two of them to show you. Uh, we have NECA. We have NECA coming in here. Doing it with Valks. Uh, something we haven't been seeing. I mean, what we're seeing, Bowler... Uh, we've been seeing Bowler Smash a lot. And Bowler Smash, what, what we've been seeing is it it's getting if you don't get the double you're getting a high percent one star like upper 60 percent one stars or you're getting a low percent one star where you're where you're just getting the town hall um so and then we're also seeing dragons a lot as well on this one uh we're, we're seeing valks it was something that we saw a lot you know just a few months ago and beyond but we just haven't been seeing a lot of uh, mass Valk attacks. So we're going to see just a beautiful funnel that you guys are going to see that he has for this attack. Uh, NECA hitting this on his Town Hall 10. Did bring four rages. Dropped one of them already uh, to start off with the Queen as she's funneling um, that bottom right hand side moving up. And he does have... So he had four rage and a jump. Uh, dropped Gollum at about 8 o'clock. Drop Gollum and Bowlers. He also had Bowlers in the CC. And the King as well. Uh, just to start that nice funnel. Here comes uh, the CC. It does have kind of a nasty split on the CC. Drops his third rage on the Queen. Uh, does have a pair of poisons. But with that split, end up working out okay once the Queen died. Uh, the only other troop he had on the ground was the queen so witches and skellies ran into the runway of poison so very very nicely done right there and here comes his valkyries guys jump rage leading everything into the core they pretty much one shot he had 12 valkyries guys one shot at that town hall and you can see he's already at uh 55 with the double in the bag uh queen is going to be able to take out that air sweeper oh just fell just fell short of that air sweeper 
57 uh, percent is going to be the total the only thing left up is those healers uh, very very nice attack from NECA and again doing it with Valkyries uh, give it a try uh, a lot of bases are defending for the bowler smash it's still a very powerful attack but often that can open up other attack strategies like the mass Valkyrie essentially you have queen funneling you have the the queen charger queen walk funneling one side uh, you have a, a, a golem bowler kill squad and king funneling the other and you got Valkyries with a jump and a rage leading everything into the Town Hall. Very, very powerful. Okay, so that was their lightest Town Hall 11. So we're going to show you guys their heaviest Town Hall 11. Uh, this one is fully maxed uh, defense-wise. And we got Rodney coming in doing it with the Bowler Smash. A classic Bowler Smash, as you guys are going to see it. He uh, went ahead and dropped down the jump. Four Golems is going to be dropping Bowlers at 6 o'clock all the way up to three o'clock in a straight line. Uh, again, he started with the jump, so leading everything in, and does have a heal, uh, two rages, dropped one of them, leading all the bowlers and the heroes inside, and he has a pair of poisons. This was a cleanup, so we did know what the CC was, so he brought those poisons um, to take out the baby drag and the witches. And you'll see like these bowlers are just getting percent for days over here. Same thing on this side. Uh, did have a free spell for the back end Inferno Tower. And Queen is reaching that town hall right over the wall and still has the ability. So we know he's going to be able to pick up a few more buildings off of this attack right here. Goes and pops the ability right on the Inferno Tower. Bowlers still getting uh, some percentage. So... I believe this is going to end, yeah, 56%. Very solid attack, especially on a fully maxed Town Hall 11. Uh, so Bowler Smash is still wrecking bases on the right base layouts, but definitely wanted to show you guys um, Valkyries. And we also have Dragons. We didn't have a version uh, in from this war uh, to show you, but Dragons... Um, are wrecking bases, guys. Drag Lalo and or uh, Queen Charge slash Queen Walk Dragon Attack uh, against offset air defenses. Doing very well, uh, 10v11 as well. All right, well, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Wanted to give a big shout out to Warzone68. Best of luck to them. Uh, ICL Week 1 is going down this weekend. Um, the inaugural season of this new league uh, of... It stands for the International Clash League, uh, Warzone 68 coming from the Elite Class, uh, which is the upper echelon uh, uh, class or division, if you will, that the ICL has to offer. Best of luck to them. And we all appreciate them. Everybody saw it in our clan. So we all appreciate you guys wishing us best of luck to Marshall's Nation. Also wanted to wish Marshall's Nation the best of luck. It is going down this weekend. A lot of hype uh, behind this war. Both of our clans getting promoted from Premier, moving up to Invite. Uh, very, very good stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed the attacks as well. And again, like I said in the beginning of the video, big shout out to all of the new subscribers um, that have sh that have shown up. I mean, this channel. It's kind of mini blowing up here. Uh, so big shout out to all you guys for all your support. Really, really crazy stuff. And again, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. As always, this is Riggs from Clashing FFS. And I'll see you in the very next.